ओम सहना सहनो घुन सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुम विद्विषावह ओ शातिशाशाति ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णमुद्य पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शातिशाशाति श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमद्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम चैतन्यं सर्वगम सर्व सर्वूतगुहाशय यत्सर्वयातीत तस्म सर्वे नम Lopadesha Sahasri, we are in the 17th chapter, called Samyang Mati Prakaranam. The chapter will be Samyang Mati or right knowledge. <coughs> Going, just reviewing the verses that we have done, starting with the first verse. परपक्ष निराकरण मुखेन उक्त मोक्ष साधन ज्ञान ज्ञान मीन्स मोक्ष साधन सेल्फ नॉलेज मीन्स ऑफ मोक्ष बिकॉज इग्नोरेंस इज द कॉज ऑफ बॉन्डेज सब प्रक्रिया अभी व्यक्ति कर तुम अर्लीय चैप्टर द व्यूज ऑफ ओरेंट्स वेर डेमोलिस्ट Are refuted, and now so paksha presenting one's own paksha. Prakaranantram agamana. So this seventeen chapter is now devoted to presenting the position of the Vedantin. Devata bhakte he vidya praptyan angar angaratam antarangatam. Devata bhakti. Worship of Devata, our Lord, also is an important means of knowledge. Angaratvam is ang antaranga sadhanam, inner sadhanam. Devotion, meaning that the knowledge also should be pursued with devotion in the heart. Later, the Rika Kara will say, "Yasya Deve Parabhakti, the one who has the supreme devotion for the Lord." Whom he wants to know, yatha deve, yatha guru, and also in the guru. So this bhakti is a very important and inevitable requirement of self-growth for gaining the knowledge. Namaskara vyajena, in the pretext of namaskara or saluting the devata. प्रकरण प्रतिपाद्यार्थम संक्षिप्या द फर्स्ट वर्स विच अपेरेंटली इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ सल्यूटेशन टू द देवता ऑल्सो एक्सप्रेस इन ब्रीफ दिस वेरी थीम ऑफ द एंटायर चैप्टर 
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಜ್ಞೇಯ ಪರೋಹ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಯಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಅನ್ನನ್ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಸೃದೃಕ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಜ್ಞೇಯಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಜ್ಞೇಯಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಆತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ಟುದರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಮೈ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಜ್ಞೇಯ ಆತ್ಮನ ಆತ್ಮ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಜ್ಞೇಯ ದರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ನೋನ್ ಟು ದರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಮೈ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ದಿ ವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಜ್ಞೇಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಮಸ್ ವಿ ನೋನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಾರ ದ್ರಷ್ಟವ್ಯ ಹೇ ಮೈತ್ರೈ ಆತ್ಮ ಮಸ್ವಿ ನೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅವಧಾರ್ಯ ಎವಿ ವಿ ನೋ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎನಿವೇ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಡಸನ್ ನೋ ದ ಆತ್ಮ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎವಿ ವಿ ನೋ ಹೂ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ದೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅವಧಾರ್ಯ ಅಸರ್ಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಿಂ ಘಟಾದಿವತ್ ವಿಷತ್ವೇನ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಟು ಬಿ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಘಟಪಟ ನೋ ಪರೋಹ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಪರ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞೇಯ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞೇಯತ್ವ ಧರ್ಮರಹಿತ ಆತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಐಂಟಿಟಿ ಮೈ ಸರ್ವ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಐಂಟಿಟಿ ಐ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಮೈ ಸರ್ವ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಐಂಟಿಟಿ that at once sustains everything and then transcends everything that pervades everything and transcends everything yasmad atma sarva parah nyatva dharma hita because atma is supreme superior to all that is knowable because it is free from or devoid of the attribute of knowability tat kutah what's the reason why atma is paraha the supreme the most exalted and not an object of knowledge yasmat anyan navidyate yasmat from which atmanah surupat anyata in reality nothing else exists nothing exists other than atma no entity exists other than atma nor attribute also exists other than atma dharma va and therefore atma is not gneha cannot be the object of knowledge it can be pratyaksha it cannot be the object of perception the tikagara says inference comparison ಅರ್ಥಾವತ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಿಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಅನುಪಲಬ್ಧಿ ಇವನ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಟು ವಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆರ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅದರ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಓನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನಾಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದೇಫರ್ ವಿಷಯಭೂತ ದೇಹೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನೇನ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಎಬ ನೋಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ ಮೈ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಎಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಇವನ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಚುಲಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ರೆಕಗ್ನೈಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಜ್ಞೇಯ ನೋ ಎಬ ತತ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿತ ಅವಿಷತ್ವೇನ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಾತ್ಮ ಜ್ಞೇಯ ಅಂದ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ದ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಫಲ್ಜೆಂಟ್ ದೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೂ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ನೋ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಟು ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ದಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಚುಲ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ 
recognizing that what I call as I, they are not I. I am the Sakshi, the witness of all this, body, etc. So this is the nature of Atma as a self, Tvam Padartha in the Vedantic terminology. Atma also is Ishvara. Sarvajna, Sarvadrukshuddha, Samanya Dhavan knows everything in general is called Sarvajna Omniscient. Sarvadruk, one who sees everything in particular is called Sarvadruk, the knower of all. This is the Tatasa Lakshana, Upa Lakshana, not Swarupa Lakshana. The incidental characteristic of Atma, that Atma is all-knowing. It knows everything in general and particular. That is not the Swarupa Atma. This indicatory nature, indicatory like characteristic of Atma. Very Atma is known as the very nature of knowledge, Shuddha. Anurta, Jada, Parichana, Dukhadi, Prapanja, Samsar, Grahita. So they were pure. Devoid of any contact or association, anything that is impure. Anatma is impure. Jagat is impure. Why is it? Because Jadam, inert, Anurtam, Mithya, Parichinam, limited. Dukkhatmakam, when it is approached for as a means of happiness, creates Dukkha. Atma is ever free from any association with this Anatma, that Jagat, which is impure, therefore Shuddha, the Self is ever pure. Satya Jnana Ananta Rupa Ananda, ananta ananda Rupa Satyam, Jnanam, Anandam, Anandam. Tasme Jnayatmane Namaha. So first line of the verse unfolded the nature of Tvampada. The part of second line unfolded Tatpada. And now the identity of Tam and Tvat, Tasme Jnayatmane Namaha. Tasme Jnayatmane Namaha. Jnayaschasu Atma Chikjnayatma. Atma that is known as, as described really is a very witness, self effulgent Jnaya, that one that has to be known. Tasme Namaha, to that Atma, my Namaskar. He the Tikagara says that Namaskar means that completely dissolving the sense of individuality which creates a distance. So Namaskara ultimately culminates into identity. There is a true Namaskara or salutation where I even let go my sense of even namas- Namaskara. The one who is actually salu- saluter also is given up. Namaskarta also is given up. Tad bhedrushti vilaheva. Therefore, the cessation of the bhedrushti, the notion of the duality between myself and Ishwar and anything else, that is that bhedrushti, the notion of duality is completely let go in the wake of the knowledge of oneness. This is what is meant by Namah. So Guru Param Pram Pranamati. The first verse express Devata Bhakti. Second verse express the Guru Bhakti. Yasya Deve Para Bhakti hi. Yasa Deve Tatha Guru. Padavakya Pramanik Pramanagne hi. Deepa Bhute hi Prakashitam. Brahma Vedarhasyam yehi. Tan Nityam Pranato Smiham. 
ये मे गुरुभि पूर्व पदवाक्य प्रमाण व्याख्याता सर्वेदात तान्यम प्रणतस्म्यहम दर्शन तैत्र उपनिषद समथिंग सिमिलर पदवाक्य प्रमाण ये दोज ग्रेट टीचर्स हू एज नो अर्थ ऑफ पद वाक्य प्रमाण पद ऑस मीन्स व्याकरण वाक्यम ऑसो मीन्स मीमांसा प्रमाण मीन्स न्याय सो नो अर्थ ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दी शास्त्र फर एक्सट्रीमली कॉम्पिटेंट टू एनफोल्ड द मीनिंग ऑफ दी स्टेटमेंट ऑफ स्क्रिप्चर्स पद वाक्य प्रमाण ही दो वेल वर्स्ट इन पद वाक्य प्रमाण पद वर्ड वाक्य सेंटेंस प्रमाण विच इज मीन्स ऑफ नॉलेज ती भूत प्रकाशित ब्रह्म वेद रहस्यम दो इलिमेंट ब्रह्म विच इज वेरी एसेंस ऑफ वेद सो बाय द टीचर्स प्रकाशित हु रिवील ब्रह्म विच इज वेरी एसेंस ऑफ वेद तान्यम प्रणतस्म्यहम टू दो गुरुज आर ऑलवेज रिमेन सैल्यूटेड दीपभूत अयत्न सर्वाथ प्रकाशक यही संबंध सो दीप इज लैम इज दैट विच इलिमेंट्स और टीचर्स वेर लाइक द टी लैम्प हु इलिमेंट बाय वेरी नेचर जस्ट एज लैम डज नॉट हैव टू मेक एनी एफर्ट टू इलिमेंट सो सो द टीचर्स डिड नॉट नीड एनी एफर्ट टू इलिमेंट लाइक लैम्प It just happened spontaneously. Samanyena acharya paramparam namaskritya visheshana swaguru pranam purvakam. Second verse offers salutation to all the teachers, the parampara, the lineage, the succession of all the teachers and disciples. So. Having saluted all the teachers in general, now in particular, the author salutes his own teacher. Uddesham pratijani the again in the pretext of offering salutation to his own teacher, the author also reveals here what is subject matter. यदवाक् सूर्यांशु संपाद प्रणष्टध्वांतकल प्रणम्यता गुरून वक्षे ब्रह्म विद्या विनिश्चय यदवाक् सूर्य अंशु सूर्यांशु वाक् सूर्य वन उज वाक् वर्ड्स आर लाइक सन अंशु ऑफ इज रेज संपात When the rays of the sun fall anywhere, they dispel the darkness. So, so the rays of the sun, of whose words, dispel the darkness of ignorance. Meaning, whose words reveal the knowledge and dispel the ignorance in the heart of the student. Ramyatan Gurun Vakshe. So, the particular guru who dispels the darkness of ignorance in my heart. to those gurus the plural is in the sense of reverence vakshe i will now state brahma vidya vinishayam vishayam the ascertain con- conviction of brahma vidya now i am going to say that because of by by, by which the conviction about the brahma vidya the knowledge of brahman will arise in the students that i will say in that manner i will say brahma vidya vinishayo visma nyay visheshat bhavati the reasoning by which the conviction the ascertainment of the knowledge of brahman takes place in the student that method of reasoning i will present 
which will enable the student to recognize self as, a, as Brahman. Brahmyatan Gurun. So, saluting the Gurus, also the teacher says, what is the subject matter of this chapter? I am to present, I am going to present the reasoning or the methodology of reasoning which will enable the students to see the Atma, the Self, to dispel the darkness of ignorance in the heart of the student. Because ignorance is in the form of wrong notions. Ignorance is not merely darkness, but then it is also a vikshep in the form of the wrong notions. And whatever notion we have is a conclusion that we have about ourselves. Each one of us is born with the notion or conclusion about who I am, what the world is, what the Ishwara is, so Jiva, Jagat, Ishwara, about all these three, we are born with conclusions. It is a nature of our intellect to have opinion about myself, opinion about the world, opinion about Ishwara. And these opinions in fact determine my life. These opinions, notions, which I near convic convictions, they think are real. They determine my Shraddha. What is important to me? What is the goal of my life? What is the means of the attaining that goal? All of this is determined by the convictions that I have about myself, about Jagat, about Ishwara, these convictions, these notions, they determine everything about my life. The whole belief system, a certain you know, what the goal is, what the means is, what the values are, everything is determined by this. And supposedly every conclusion is born as a result of some reasoning process. We have not examined the reasoning by which I have this conclusion, but whatever conclusion I have about myself, about you, about anybody else, has some reasoning. And therefore the teacher will provide a reasoning here by which the student can see the fallacy of his reasoning. Therefore, fallacy of his conclusions, and that's how the conclusions are dropped. That's how ignorance is shed. And that's how the nischaya, I have my nischaya right now, I have my ascertainment, I have my conviction as to who I am. But that conviction will turn into, what's the conviction? I am Brahman. Now conviction about what Jagat is, that's what I'm, Jagat also is Brahman. Now conviction about Ishwara is, that also turn in Brahman. So all those convictions should transform themselves into this conviction that Jiva is Brahman, Jagat is Brahman, Ishwara is Brahman, what is is Brahman, what I am is Brahman. So therefore, this reasoning process is extremely important for Vedanta. It is not the reasoning to prove something. It is reasoning to dispel ignorance. We must know what is the role of reasoning here, Tarka. Because ignorance manifests in our life in the form of the false notions or conclusions. And every notion or conclusion is born of some reasoning. Whatever be the reasoning, even if an illiterate person, some reasoning is there. And that's why a person is convinced about what he or she thinks. And the right reasoning has to be provided to 
dispel the ignorance of the nature of wrong notions. With this reasoning, which is conducive to removing ignorance of the nature of the wrong notions or conclusions of Viparita Jnanam, it is called false knowledge, has an extremely important role to play for in Vedanta. Kimartam Brahma Vidyanis Chunishya Bhakshade. What's the reason why you are not going to state the Vinishya, the conviction, the, the asserted knowledge about Brahma? What's the reason? What purpose will it serve? Atma Labhat Paro Nanyo Labhak Kashana Vidyade, the fourth verse says. Yidartha Veda Vadaschas Marta Sabu Yakriyaha. Evening is meant for Atma Lava. Veda Vadas, all the Veda Vadaha. Meaning Veda Vachanani. All these statements of the Vedas. Smartaha, Smartavadas, and also the statement of Smritis. So, Shruti and Smriti, all the religious or uh, spiritual sc- uh, scriptures that we have, all of them are devoted to Yadartha. For what purpose? For revealing the true nature of our Atma Lava. What is the lava? The reward or gain for by knowing the self. By gaining the self, atma lava, paro lava. There is no lava or gain greater than the gain of atma. There is no achievement greater than the achievement of atma. There is no goal greater than the goal that is atma. There is no knowledge greater than knowledge of Atma. Atma lavat paro lava na kasana vidyate. Since there is no lava, the gain greater than the gain of the self. On what basis do you say that? Yada saha veda vadascha. All the Vedas are devoted to enabling us to gain Atma. The smritis also have their only one purpose and that is to help us gain Atma. Ya, ya Kriyaha, not only that. Not only the knowledge section of the Vedas and Smritis, but the karma section also. Chitta Shuddhi Paramparaya. The karmas, the rituals, etc., which are also revealed by both Shruti and the Smriti. You also have only one purpose. Atma lavaha, attainment of Atma. How can karma become a means of attaining the Atma? Chitta Shuddhi Paramparaya. Karma, the action, perform selflessly. It is not karma that does anything, it is the spirit of selflessness. Offering, that is what purifies the heart. This karma gives us an opportunity to entertain the attitude of giving. Usually I don't want to do that, I want to grab. But that is called yoga where this attitude of grabbing is deliberately transformed to the attitude of giving. A karma yogi looks upon every Action is an opportunity to grow. So, Chitta Shuddhi Paramparaya. Thus, any karma, any action performed in this spirit, with this attitude, becomes a means of self purification. And that way makes the mind a fit instrument for the knowledge. Therefore, the entire scripture is only one. 
purpose and there is Atma Lava, attainment of Atma is the only purpose of all the scriptures. Putra Lava Pekshaya Atma Lava Se Paramatvam Putra Lava Pekshaya In comparison to the Lava or attain a putra, etc., which are supposed to be very dear. Tadetat preha, putra, preha, vitta, preha, anjismat, sarvasmat. In the world, putra, the son, the progeny, vitta, the wealth, which includes name, fame, etc., anjismat, sarvasmat, whatever else that is dear. Atma is dearer than all these entities that are thought to be dear. Sarasmat antarataram because the innermost as compared to all of these that are dear. Therefore, it is already stated in Upanishad, Bhudanik Upanishad 148. <coughs> Therefore, here says, so there is the, the fifth Atma Atho Bihiyo Lava Sukhayesh To Vipariyah Atma Lava Parprokta Nityatvad Brahma Vedi Bihi. There is two kinds of lava, two kinds of attainment. Attainment for the sake of myself or attainment of myself. Attainment of the happiness, my happiness. Attainment of something that I consider dear, which may be pleasure, name, fame, whatever it is I consider dear, attainment of that is for my sake. Atmastu kamaya saram priyam bhauti. Well, sarvam, all of that becomes priyam because for the sake of atma. So atma talava. But lava or gain for Atma. Other is lava of Atma, and this is the difference. Atma thobiyo lava sukhaya ishto viparya. The lava or gain or attainment that is for Atma, for myself. What is that? Putra di lave naiva atma sukha He says, why do you need to gain atma? In our day-to-day -day life, we are happy gaining putra, vitta, mitra, kalatra, etc. So putra, vitra, kalatra. By attaining this, I become happy. So why do I need to attain atma? So putra, vitta, putra, mitra, kalatra etc. They are for making me happy. Putra, Vitta, Mitra, Kalatra. Kalatra means wife. So these are these are entities that are dear to me. And therefore I all I wish to attain them so that I become happy. So they are dear to me for my sake and therefore I attain them for my sake, for my happiness. Atma Salava. If that lava is enough in my life, then why should I worry about Atma Lava attaining self? So the teacher here draws our attention to the difference between the lava attainment of those which make me happy and lava attainment of myself. There is attainment of those things that make me happy. Like putra, mitra, kalatra, etc. Wealth, name, fame and anything else that we think makes me happy. He says, happiness gained through them cannot be really, cannot give you. He says, sukhaya ishto viparya. That putra, mitra, vitta, kalatra, all of that can be source of happiness as well as unhappiness.
कदाचित कस्यचित पुत्रादेव दुखेतु तो दर्शनाद कदाचित समटाइम कस्यित फॉर समबडी वी फाइंड दैट पुत्र व्हिच इज सो डियर आल्सो बिकम्स अ सोर्स ऑफ अनहैप्पीनेस सो पुत्र इज द फर्स्ट वन देन एनीथिंग एल्स द दर्वित्त एंड एवरीथिंग फॉलोस meaning that what was thought to be dearest does not always become the means of happiness it doesn't always give me happiness is also known to be a means of unhappiness sukha is the viparigaya sometimes can become the means of happiness and sometimes means of unhappiness What about Atma Lava? It's Atma Artha Lava. The Lava, the gaining of those which are helpful to me, favorable to me, means of happiness to me, that Lava can be also Gair Lava, Un Lava, you know, therefore it can be also cause of pain. So with reference to Lava or attainment of those things, what is the difference between Atma Lava and those Lava? आत्मलाभ पर प्रोक्त नित्यवा ब्रह्मवेदी बाय नोर्स ऑफ ब्रह्म बोध ब्रह्म मीन्स वेदा स्क्रिच सरल ब्रह्म आत्मलाभ पर प्रोक्त पर प्रोक्त आत्मलाभाय से सुप्रीम मोस्ट एक्सॉरेड बाय नित्यवा the lava the happiness that comes from something other than atma is nitya unpredictable temporary fleeting and can also cause this opposite namely unhappiness whereas atma lava nityatva atma lava gives me happiness that is nitya or eternal Since Atma is eternal, therefore the happiness of Atma also is eternal. Therefore, most reliable. That is what one is always searching for. Something that is reliable. Something that is trustworthy. Something that does not disappoint me ever and or any kind of circumstances. It's infallible. That is nityatva. Atma lava is infallible at all the times, at all the places, and all conditions. It is happiness <coughs> because that happiness is unconditional. Therefore, it does not depend upon any condition. Therefore, it doesn't fail me. Doesn't disappoint me. Infallible. So as Pooja Swami used to say, every human being is in search of the infallible, and this is it, Atma Lava. Vipareya Prasanga Tattva Nasti, it can never be that Atma becomes means of unhappiness, never be Nitya Tvat. The happiness is Nitya, meaning happiness by nature. Unconditionally it is happy, therefore. anything that gives me conditional happiness when that condition is absence can also become source of non happiness or unhappiness also atma gives me happiness for no reason therefore it is eternal so it is preha putra preha vitta preha anyasmat sarvasmat yat antaratram yad ayam atma Atma is innermost compared to all those which are thought to be means of happiness. So you anjama atma na priyam brahmanam bruyat. Now this is an interesting statement. Atma anjam priyam brahmanam. Somebody says, no, no, this is dear to me. My son is dear to me. Somebody who is saying that my son is dear, dearer to me than myself. What do you mean? 
to that fellow this one says to that priyam rod sati what do you consider dear will ultimately perish understand whatever it is will perish and then will make you cry it if someone says that to him that he so and so you who is who looks upon this entity as dear that entity will perish some day and then become cause of your crying weeping and happiness sadness grief he shows that what he says will turn out to be true because it is true anything other than atma is perishable therefore that object of happiness or that is a dear is perishable fallible and the evil disappoint you make you sad cause you grief atmanam prem upasita devar atmanam yo prem upasita which always meditate upon atma recognize atma see atma worship atma as the only one that is dear only one that deserves because it's only one that is happiness object of love we always love the self that i always do but unfortunately self there is body mind that's not that self self this is atma so atma ne prem upaste na hasya priyam pramayakam bhavati un loves atma upasat i mean one who therefore pursues the knowledge of atma because atma has to be gained that next verse will say gaining atma is knowing atma we already gain therefore one should rec- one should recognize atma as the dearest so one who recognize atma as dearest will never be disappointed no accept priyam pramayakam bhavati atma will never be perishable atma sukalabhasya nityatvoktam sadhayati atma sukha lab attainment of the happiness of atma is eternal nitya sadhayati six verses swayam labdha swavatva labhastasya na chanyatah anya pekshastu yo labha sonya drishti samudbhavah so what is the difference between atma and the self and other things swayam labdha swavatva atma is labdha swabhava atma is the nature of the one that is already attained therefore even though this atma labha hai attainment of atma there is no labha no attainment in primary sense because already attained then where is the question of attaining atma they already attained attain means to recognize that it is attained that's all something is there but not known to us a great treasure is buried underneath and i don't know and there is not that to attain that treasure is already mine but i have to recognize that it is mine attainment of what is already attained so atma even though it is already and always attained because it is myself for some reason i entertain this notion that atma is unattained the limitless is unattained atma is limitless unattained even though limitlessness which is nature of the self is already attained because it is myself for some reason and for sure it is i entertain the notion that i am a limited being and vidanta explains why that notion arises it is because of taking the limited as atma the body is limited sense organs are limited mind is limited intellect is limited it's all limited upad is limited costume is limited 
the costume is a beggar costume and taking that costume as myself i look upon myself beggar even though i am a multimillionaire even though i am limitless identify with this limited costume i am for and today no and i am limited there but limitless becomes something to be attained right now limitless falls in the category of to be attained in my list shopping list because not because it is of the nature of to be attained it is because of my notion that i am limited it is true that i am constantly striving to attain atma or limitless that is my life life of human being is a constant pursuit of the limitless of the freedom whatever at a given moment i am understand as freedom that's what i am seeking to attain i mean people are attaining different different people who are attaining different things seeking different things because people have different notions about what that limitless is and same person also seems to be seeking different ways his notions also changes to what the limitless is and therefore different people appear to be seeking different things the same person also appears to be seeking different things at different times but that is because of the changing notions of what he is seeking but through all the seeking there is only one thing that a human being is seeking and that is the nityam limitless eternal swayam labdha swabhavatvat that limitless that one is seeking call it limitless eternal whatever words we use limitless mean devoid of the limitation of time place conditions swayam labdha swabhavatva that limitless is already attained because it is the nature of myself आत्मलाभ तस्य न च अन्यत तस्य आत्मलाभ न अन्यत अन्य निमित्त देर फॉर आत्मलाभ अटेनमेंट ऑफ आत्मा फॉर अटेनिंग द आत्मा यू डू नॉट नीड मीन्स अदर देन आत्मा फॉर अटेनमेंट ऑफ अ बिलियन डॉलर्स आई एम नीड मीन्स अदर देन डॉलर्स यू नो अदर देन माई सेल्फ for becoming more famous becoming more wealthy becoming more powerful i mean need means other than myself for attaining is worldly things i need entities means other than myself but for attaining atma or the limitless i do not need anything other than myself atmano labha anya nimitta ko na bhavati न च अन्य मीन्स अन्य निमित्त का ये अटेन आत्मा डज नॉट डिपेंड डज नॉट नीड एनी मीन्स अदर देन आत्मा अटेनिंग आत्मा इज नॉट थ्रू एन आत्मा अदर समथिंग अदर देन आत्मा कुत वाय स्वयं लब्ध स्वभावत्वा बिकॉज आत्मा बाय नेचर इज लब्ध स्वभाव the limitless by uh, that is called atma there is i naturally that's why the word atma but the limitless is by nature myself and them all the attain swam labda swavatvat sadhana sadhyatva abhavad this atma myself i'm already limitless therefore i do not need any other than myself for attaining limitless anything other than myself is always limited 
So when I think that what I am seeking in limitless is different from myself, I am going to adopt a means other than myself that means is limited. So what is attained also is limited. But attainment of limitless does not require any means other than myself. Any nimitta ko na bhavati labdas swahava because limitlessness being my nature therefore does not need a means other than myself because every means is limited. By limited means you could not attain limitless. So other labha atmartha labha labha for atma is Putra Yalarasya Sadha Adhinatvena. Only thing that comes free is myself. Understand? In a life, only thing that comes free is myself. For everything else, I have to pay the price. It may be time, talent, toil, whatever it is. Putra Jalavasya Sadha Adhinatvena Anityatvam The Putra Projini etc. which I look upon as means of happiness, their attainment is dependent upon some other means other than myself. Jaya Mesyat Asa Prajaya He says, may I have a wife, therefore I would have a son or I would have a Projini. So progeny depends upon means other than myself and so also wealth and everything wealth. Anya pekshaha to yo labaha. Any labha or any attainment that is dependent upon something other than myself, which includes putra, vitta, etc., all those entities, the worldly entities, in this world and the other world. All of them really need a means. Putrena, I am loka jaya hai. Karmana, pitru loka hai. Vidya, dev loka hai. You do have progeny for attaining this world, you require karma, rituals for the pitru loka, attain meditation, devata, meditation, devata, for swarga loka. So therefore, anya peksha. There are anatma lokaha, therefore attaining them requires a means other than myself. I require putra, otherwise I can't attain this world. I need to perform karma, then only pitra loka. Perform upasana, then only swarga loka. Anya pekshas to yo labaha, sa anya drashti samudbhava. Anya drashti samudbhava, anya drashti samudbhava yasya which is born of Anya Drishti. Anya Drishti is Sakasat, born of or born from Anya Drishti. Anya Drishti. Kaya Anya Drishti, what is Anya Drishti? So that Labha that is born of Anya Drishti is Anya Peksha, dependent upon Anya or other one, and therefore it is perishable. It is Anya Drishti that the expression used in the sixth verse, the Tikagar asked this question, Kāyam Anya Drishti. With Anya Drishti that you are talking about? Kāvā tad bhosya Anya Putra Lāva Sanitya Kāvā and the Putra Lāva etc. is because, so Putra di Lāva. Putra stands for everything that is desirable. So, lava attainment of anything desirable in this world or other world is because of Anya Drishti. It's all born of Anya Drishti. So, what is Anya Drishti? And if the lava is born of Anya Drishti, what's the problem with that? First of all, you say that other lava is born of Anya Drishti. What is Anya Drishti? And secondly, just because the lava, the attainment is born of Anya Drishti, what's wrong with that? So the seventh verse says, 
ಅನ್ಯದೃಷ್ಟಿಸ್ತು ವಿಜ್ಞಾಸ್ಯಾ ತನ್ನಾಶೋ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಇಚ್ಛಿ ಉಚ್ಚತೆ ಅನ್ಯದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಅನ್ಯ ಇತಿ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಇದು ಅನ್ಯ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತಂ ಪರಾದಾದ್ಯೋ ಆತ್ಮನ್ಯತ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವೇದ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಜೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅನ್ಯ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನ್ಯ ಸೊ ಲಾಭ ದರ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗೇನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ಯ the happiness that i am seeking also is thought to be different from myself that will becomes mean it is is requires to be attained you know i am seeking to attain happiness because of my conclusion that happiness is different from any other thing happiness is different from me the means of attaining happiness ನ ಕರ್ಮಣ ನ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಧನೇನ ಕರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಧನಂ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟೇನಿಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನ್ಯ ಅದರ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅದರ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅದರ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅನ್ಯ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ and therefore it is automatically limited and therefore what is attained which is different is limited the means also is looked upon as different from myself that is also limited so what is attained by limited means is limited anyasmin anatmani drushti pratiti yasyaha sa anya drushti look upon something as an atma that is basically ignorance all there is atma looking upon something as an atma different from myself is ignorance so this is the first expression of ignorance which causes anya drushti bheda drushti anyonya abhavah what is you is not i what is i is not you ಯುಷ್ಮದಸ್ಮ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಗೋಚರ ಯುಷ್ಮ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಅಸ್ಮ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಸೊ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಆ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಭವತಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ದರ್ ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಬೇಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಏನೋ ಆವರಣ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ತೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಬಟ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ looking upon something as an atma so sa avidya bhavati anya drushti sa avidya bhavati anyasmin anatmani drushti pratiti looking upon something as an atma other than myself is anya drushti that is ignorance it is born of ignorance but that is the first expression of ignorance earlier expression of ignorance is that creates in me identification anya what i am not namely this body etc therefore creates in me a sense of confinement that i am confined to the body mind sense that is the first expression of vidya that makes me look upon myself as an individual confined to the body mind sense complex and therefore anything that is outside that is thought to be anya anatma anyasmin anatmani drushti looking upon something as anatma itself is ignorance the first product of ignorance is looking on myself as individual as as and looking about the other thing anatma tatascha atma vidya krutha ಭ್ರಾಂತಿ ನಿಬಂಧನತ್ವಾತ್ ಪುತ್ರೈ ಲಾಭ ಪ್ರತೀತೆ ಪುತ್ರಾದಿ ಲಾಭ ಪ್ರತೀತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೈ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರತೀತಿ ಥಾಟ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ 
putra, the love that attain putra, etc., attain happiness. He is avidya krita pranti nibandhanatvat. Avidya has caused the identification of the body, mind, sense complex. This caused pranti notion that I am so as an individual. That right away creates sense of limitedness and therefore dukkha. There was something looked upon as a means of sukha. The whole series of, uh, you know, Brahma goes on. So, putra ji lava attain happiness by attaining putra, etc. That pratiti is born of looking at myself dukhi. This ignorance causes me to look upon myself as confined with the body, mind, sense complex, limited entity, that dukhi. There was something as putra, etc. becomes means of happiness, I superimpose the idea of happiness on them. This is the Shobhanadhyasa. And then when I attain that putra, I think that I'm happy, I've attained happiness. All of this is born of the notion, born of ignorance. Tasyascha sapna tulvatvat. All bhranti. Anya drushti is bhranti. Sukha is anyam. So means putra also is anyam. It's all bhranti because what is atma? So any bhranti is an example of bhranti is svapna. Bhranti means delusion, superimposition, notion. The example of Bhranti is Swapna because it's accepted as Bhranti by everybody. This may not be accepted as Bhranti. That my son makes me happy may not, everybody may not think it is Bhranti. But everybody accepts Swapna as Bhranti. So, Swapna Tulyatvad. That Swapna, the dream is Bhranti is delusion and therefore Swapna Putra also is Bhranti. See, there is Anya Drishti in Swapna. Although when we wake up, I realize, we realize that what was is nothing but is all emerged from me and all merged into me. Swapna was not separate from me. When I was dreaming, then I thought I was different and that's what the world was different. So that duality between the subject and object that we think we experience in dream is recognized to be a bhranti or a notion or delusion when we wake up. There was Swapna is a good example of what bhranti is and what bhranti creates also. Here also, therefore, what is Swapna, what is important? Anya Drushti is a character Swapna. Even though in reality Swapna is nothing but myself. And still I look upon Swapna as different from me. Pashyanad Maya Bhairavo Dhutam Yatha Nidra. Just as in Nidra, dream, I mean sleep and dream, I look upon the dream world as different from myself as long as I am dreaming. Yes, sakshat kurute prabhu dasamaya svatmanam evadvayam. When he wakes up from the dream, they realize, hey, dream world was myself. Advayam. Therefore, I know that dream is a bhranti and therefore the anya drushti is the character of dream that is all bhranti. The anya drushti prevails in waking also when I look upon other sanya, so that is also bhranti. So Sukha means look upon as Anya. When it looked upon as different from myself, it becomes a means of something to be attained. There is a means of attainment. So all of this samsara is there mainly because of Bhranti. Therefore all of this is a product of ignorance, not knowing the true nature of myself. Tathāca avidyāna vṛtta Atma Surupa Nitya Sukhalava Abhavad. So Nitya Sukham which I am seeking, the eternal happiness, the limitless happiness, 
which is really Atma Sukha, happiness of myself, is already attained, thought to be unattained, thought to be different from myself. Nitya Sukham also Anya, thought is it of thought to be my different from my therefore I'm trying to attain that. The Anya Dushti is product of ignorance. So as long as Anya Dushti remains, it will always remain elusive. The sun is chasing its shadow. Chaya is the wife of sun. Sun is looking for Chaya, going round and round, doesn't find. So human being seeking this limitless habit doesn't find. Therefore, ar avidya nivritya mantarena without the dispelling of ignorance of the self, this atma sukha cannot be attained. And therefore, the means of attaining atma sukha is only self knowledge. That's all. The Atma is not Sukhi, is an illusion or delusion or a Brahma created by ignorance. And therefore, dispelling of ignorance that eliminates that notion. Sa Sampadhyā Therefore, Avidya Nivrutti Sampadhyā or Atma Jnanam Sampadhyā Sa Sampadhyā Feminine. What is Sa? Avidya Nivrutti The dispelling of ignorance is something that we have to attain. So Tannāsa Moksha Vichyate That is how the verse continues. We will we'll continue discussion tomorrow. <coughs> Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyade Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krutau Vande Bhagavantau Punaf Punah Ishvaro Guru Ratmedi Murti Bheda Vibhagine Vyoma Vadvyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om